Hi, my name is Alicia Brack. I'm a senior at Mundelein High School, and as a junior, I took AP Bio. I signed up for the class for a variety of reasons. The first being I really enjoyed Honors Biology with Mr. Doyle my freshman year, and um, I liked his teaching style, so I figured the course would probably be structured similarly. And another reason is because I wanted to save some money for college. I know a lot of students take, as a freshman or a sophomore, biology in college and so I thought maybe if I scored well on the AP exam I could save some money and also I knew that I needed more science credits to fulfill the graduation requirement and I figured that AP bio would do that and not only boost my GPA but push me as a student because I like to be challenged and so my sophomore year, I took AP Human Geography and APUSH, and so those classes have a pretty solid workload with a lot of textbook reading and note cards, and I had similar expectations for this class. Although biology is a really broad topic, I expected actually the class to be harder than my previous ones. I figured that the test would be really intense and that I wouldn't be able to memorize or know all the specifics and vocab terms. But what I experienced during the class wasn't necessarily that. Mr. Doyle does a really good job of integrating lecture and work time. And because of that, I felt like I was able to get a good grasp on what was going on in the class most of the time. And I did feel prepared to take the course. In some of my AP classes now, I feel like people might have a little more prior experience than I do, but because everyone as a freshman at Mundelein takes biology, you're kind of all starting at the same place. If anything, I guess I might have had a little bit of an advantage because I took it my junior year instead of a lot of people take bio their senior year. And so that was like one less year of a gap between my freshman year bio course and then my junior year bio course but I did feel really prepared. There's so many different online resources that you can use if you're feeling lost. And I definitely did watch a lot of YouTube videos and the AP videos, which I found were helpful. I That was kind of the most important thing that I learned over time was that there isn't really homework because he gives a lot of work time. So as long as you're efficient and use your class time wisely, you're fine. But the homework was to study and do like outside of class studying to make sure that you really understand what is going on. And I guess that was the main part because then when you would study, you could kind of figure out what you didn't really understand and then come back the next day and ask Mr. Doyle to either work one on one with you or pose the question to then present to the whole class. This kind of class participation, I think, is more important than and like answering questions. It's more important to ask them just so Mr. Doyle knows what you don't really understand because biology, like I said, is has so many different parts to it that you really have to specify which kind of, I guess, the topic doesn't make the most sense to you. And class participation also looks like working with other students in the class. So there's a lot of partner or work group work. So definitely sign up with a friend if you can. But there's also study groups if you want to meet people. I know that the, um, the Literacy Center has an AP Bio group this year. And so I wish I had known that when I took the class so then I could have prepared with other students. And that is what I am doing now as a senior is I'm trying to be in as many AP groups as possible because it's really beneficial to have an accountability partner to make sure that you're studying, doing the practice work, and really truly understanding things instead of just memorizing them. I guess I would rate the difficulty of AP Bio if as, let's say, one is the easiest and five is the hardest class. I'd say like 3.5 right there in the middle because Mr. Doyle is super supportive. And for any student considering AP, I recommend using all your resources that are available to you, whether it be an AP study group, your teacher, a textbook, or the internet.